Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and uh, this is a discussion video. I want to do this discussion video about Outlaw Rogues, but not exactly fully about Outlaw Rogues. This discussion kind of branches off towards Legion and PvP, and uh, continue on going on discussion. I guess, uh, let's just get to it, so I start making some sense. This game that you're watching right now is probably one of my better games as an Outlaw Rogue this week so far. I didn't do anything amazing, I actually just played straight up a simple BG, and the amount of damage I was able to put out, I was actually surprised. The amount of DPS I was putting out is crazy, and for the most part as an outlaw rogue what I'm looking out for in terms of let's say random battle guns is not the kill and blows but more the how much damage I can put out in the BG because my thoughts are there are plenty of classes out there that have an execute mechanic and I'd rather let them score a kill if a warrior comes in snags real quick if a shower priest helps me finish off a target as long as I dealt as much damage as I could at the very beginning then I feel like I've done my part so there I was playing an outlaw rogue in a BG I decided to do something different with the recent nerf to true bearing it does doesn't really feel like Outlaw is the best for PvP. And at first I thought, you know, maybe it's just I'm not used to the playstyle and everything. But then when you have other high rare rogues come out and they're saying, hey, Outlaw Rogue is not great, Assassin and Subtlety are better, then it makes you think that maybe that voice in the back of my head that have been telling me maybe Outlaw isn't good right now is justified. And it's like, I just been feeling this way because I'm thinking like, oh, maybe there's something I can do. Maybe there's something I can improve as a player. But when you have other players that are more experienced saying that, nah, the spec is just wrong. And it's like, I can't really even argue against it. Anyway, I decided to just play some PvE style Outlaw Rogue. I'm not really focusing on CC. I'm not really focusing on getting any, any kind of lineups and mass CC on enemies. Just stun this guy, blind this guy, uh, uh, sap this guy, silence this guy with my racial. No, no, no. I'm just going straight. PvE as if this is a raid um, and I'm with my guild about to down Gul'dan and there's all these alliance looking NPCs and I just I just gotta burst them down as quickly as possible before they use their mechanics against me. The funny thing is after playing this BG it honestly felt like this was one of the strongest BGs that I've ever done this week. It feels a little bit ridiculous and I don't know. I actually just don't know what to say. I did so good this BG. This is the best BG I've done in this week so far. And let me tell you exactly what I'm looking for when I look at BGs. I'm not really looking at killing blows because I feel like there's enough classes out there with execute mechanics to score the kill. That doesn't really bother me. As a DPS dealer, what I'm looking for in battlegrounds and arenas is to be able to deal as much damage as possible, especially with the buffs that we got in 715. So that's basically what I look for, if I can deal the most damage. And this BG was just one of those moments where I felt like I did no damage at all, but I'm literally sitting at the tippy top and I'm just like, how did I get here? Why am I here? And the only thing that makes me think of is because of the PvE mechanics that I decided to utilize as an alpha rogue. So, made me think that, <sighs> am I PvEing or PvPing in a while these days? And I know that this issue has been brought up way earlier in the expansion, especially during patch 7.1. A lot of classes came into the expansion without really any PvP mechanics to bring to the table. And Outlaw Rogue had true bearing and the ability to use defenses against enemies' offenses and outlast them and use your burst and then counter burst and burst and counter burst back to back to back. And that was your component for PvP. But there's plenty of other classes that kind of didn't really bring a lot to the table. And they were really, really just plain. And let me give you some examples. This is before patch 715 changes. What did Demon Hunters bring to Arena? Big ass deeps and cleave damage. <laughs> I mean, they had detainment where it's like they could use in prison every one minute, but it was basically a weaker version of a one walk among. But you did bring a lot of DPS and cleave damage. I do think you should be able to bring a lot more to PvP, and in 715, they're bringing mana burn mechanic, which I like. I like that thing. I think it's cool. Warriors next. What did Warriors bring to PvP? Was it maybe any of their uh, bells and whistles and the banners they had back in uh, Mr. Pandaria? Nope, they brought in some big ass deeps and cleave damage. I mean, the new warriors of 715 are a little bit better and older warriors did bring uh, MS, Moral Strike mechanic, to the game. So that was completely fine. But for the most part, it was about just big ass deeps and cleave damage though. Let's look at some of the other classes. BM Hunters. They lost their traps, so what'd you bring? I mean, there was a bit of MS mechanic, but mostly big ass deeps and single target burst. Yeah. And now that they got traps back, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to see them a little bit more often. Assassination Rogues, same old, same old tale. One of the specs that has like zero CC, or had, 
Big ass burst and single target DPS. I mean, I'm kind of just a like broken record at this point. But yeah, a lot of classes did see that kind of deal, and Blizzard is trying to reform the 715. They gave a lot of those specs and classes a little bit more to the table. Warriors got Banner, which reduces enemy CC, or how much friendly set in CC. They got Disarm. Uh, Demon Hunters got Mana Burn Mechanic. BM Hunters got the Trap Spec. Assassination Rogue's got a Blind available. So there's a lot of, I guess, complexity that Blizzard is kind of trying to bring back to PvP. But I'm currently playing a spec that basically has none of that. If I had Mortal Strike Mechanic, I think a lot more people would play with an Outlaw Rogue. If I had some kind of crazy CC like a Subtlety Rogue and Mobility, I think a lot more people would play with me. But right now, I do have some comms that I can play, but it's definitely a much smaller uh, smaller pool of people that would play with an Outlaw Rogue. It basically would have to be melee cleaves, and there's some basically <laughs> there's some comps where a spec should not work. This literally shouldn't work. But if you put it in a melee cleave and it's a melee, and you put just enough pressure, enough damage on the enemy, then in most cases you can score a kill, mainly because of how melee are in Legion. But that's just some of my thoughts. And I know that it sounds like I'm kind of beating a dead horse. We talked about it before with the Legion Prune, and I do apologize for it, but it's just something that I thought about when it comes to Outlaw Rogue spec. And I guess you don't really think about these things uh, until it happens to your spec. And then you're like, hmm, let's consider a different situation. But I do hope that Blizzard is going to continue moving into the patch 7.2 with a little bit more complexity for a lot of specs and classes in the game. And that's my hopes for the next patch. But currently in 7.15, Outlaw is still fun, but it kind of does suck not having PvP mechanics. That's kind of what I want to talk about for the day. If any of you are feeling, if you are PvEing in a PvP situation, then I feel you. Because literally all I can do as an Outlaw Rogue is basically PvE in battlegrounds and arenas. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.